What is up, everybody? Patrick LaRouge here from Evolve Restorative Therapy. You can find me at livepainfreeprocess.com. I'm pretty gifted at getting people out of pain relatively quickly, and that's because I understand the concept of the body has a protective cycle and the body has a healing cycle. I just have to get you to focus more on getting yourself out of that protection cycle into the healing cycle by focusing within and getting your body to stop, getting yourself to stop doing the things that's making you protective. So what I want to talk to you about today is a real quick fix for the shoulder. Uh, and what I mean by quick fix is here's something you can do to eliminate some of your shoulder pain and get you really moving properly. So in the uh, last week's uh, video tip, I did why our extremities are so vulnerable and why it's out there. Now we have to get you to start counterbalancing that tip um, that I did last week. You want to start learning the concept of the shoulders. Now there's the rotator cuff aspect and everybody knows about the rotator cuff but they don't realize the intricacies of it. It's a, 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 a sister brother unit where four muscles work together to allow structured movement. It's not about making your rotator cuff strong, it's about structured and the movement together. But you can only get access to one, uh, two of the, the muscles relatively easy. I'm going to show you how to touch one of them, which is called your infraspinatus, which is a muscle that runs right in the back part of your scapula itself, right? It is all the way like if you were to reach back behind you and grab your the back part of your shoulder blade, the muscle the, the muscle that's right underneath your palm is your infraspinatus. That has a lot of trigger point aspects to that refers to the front part of your shoulder where you're doing a lot of the bicep um, over extension and, and using it way too much. So if you can get the, the front part of your shoulder and the back part of your shoulder to work a little bit more, you might actually start adding in more of your body so you no longer have to use the biceps so much. You see how that works so far? So I'm gonna be showing you a trigger point aspect to getting your shoulder pain to go away. And the, what we're gonna utilize is just an easy handball. This handball is going to be placed right in that groove. So remember how you grabbed your hand back behind your, your back, trying to scratch your back, let's say? The, the little soft spot that you hit is your infraspinatus. So where your fingertips uh, fall, I want you to put the ball right there, like so. See that right here? And then I want you just to put that spot against the wall. So I'm seated. You can do this standing, you can do this in many different ways, but all you have to do is once you put it in that spot, technically all you have to do is wait and add a little bit of weight load. This is not push as hard as you can. Just by you sitting and leaning against the wall in that area gives you the weight load that you need and things will start to happen. This infraspinatus is notorious for is a slow talker. So if you do this nice and easy and wait for a second, you'll start to feel it work its way in and then your body will start talking to you. So all you have to do is just like vacuuming your house is start to move with the same amount of weight load left to right, like you're cleaning your house in long strokes from one area to the next area. Drop down a little bit, left area, right area. And you see how slow that is? It's not the, uh, 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 uh. it's nice and easy, breathe, drop it in. And eventually you'll find a point that's going to refer right to the front part of the shoulder as well as there's points in this here that will refer up to the top part of the head. So what does that mean? This will actually generate tightness in the front part of your shoulder up through here into the upper and back of the neck. So if you also have upper neck and back tightness, this can help dramatically as well. Mainly because you're getting the shoulder pain to dis uh, become less tight, allowing more movement. And you guys heard me say it plenty of times. The more movement that you can get, the more blood flow happens. The more blood flow happens, the more you heal. It's just now you have to consistently keep that bad boy moving. Just keep it learning how to move and then learn how to put it in the action of 
when you're lifting up, learning how to move everything. You see how I'm not just picking something up? You would actually have to use your whole entire body, use your core, use many aspects of yourself so you're not isolating one area. And that is how you have a quick fix for your shoulder. Oh, if you have any other questions, if you have anything else, please hit me up. I love these questions. I love what I'm getting them. Um, please hit me up. I love you. Bye.